Laurine was born with Down syndrome. His 21st chromosome has three instead of the usual two copies. The chances of trisomy 21 increases the older the mother is when she becomes pregnant. So far, Down syndrome in an unborn child could only be accurately detected with an amniotic fluid test. The test requires a sample of amniotic fluid be taken from the uterus with the aid of a large needle. There's a certain risk that the fetus could be damaged during the procedure, or that it could cause an abortion. Now a new prenatal Down syndrome test is on the Swiss market. It's not only highly accurate, but also it only requires a blood sample from the mother. The main advantage is that it's a non-invasive test. It can be done just by taking a blood sample from the pregnant mother without putting the fetus at risk. The blood of the pregnant mother also contains small quantities of the embryo's genetic material, which can be analyzed in the laboratory. The test can be carried out around the 12th week of pregnancy, whereas the amniotic fluid test is usually done around week 16. This gives parents more time to think whether they would like to have an abortion should the test be positive. However, there are mixed feelings about the introduction of the new test. When you have a child with Down syndrome, it makes you wonder what role your child will have in a society that starts selecting people. How will he be perceived? Can he still find friends in a society that wants to exclude his kind? I fear that in the future, more and more handicapped people, people with special needs, will no longer have a place in our society. We're one step closer to producing spotless children. But that's not the way nature works. For the moment, the parents have to shoulder the costs of around 1,500 Swiss francs for the test. However, the Association of Health Insurers as well as the Swiss Gynecological Society are willing to include the test in basic healthcare coverage should it prove to be effective. <laughs>